Hi, this is Mark Meyer from MarTech Hero, and in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to use Google App Script inside of Google Sheets so you can use GPT within Google Sheets. So with this method, you can use a formula on your sheet to directly integrate with the OpenAI. So in this example, we're not going to be using any extensions or additional apps or anything like that to do this. We're just going to be using Google App Script. For this, you will need an OpenAI account. So you can get one just by going to openai.com and logging in. Or if you don't have one already, just uh, register for a new account. I already have an account, so I'm gonna just jump over to mine. And as you can see, I'm logged on to the billing overview page. So just to play around with things like Google Sheets, I just put in a $5 balance. Um, it doesn't cost a whole lot to use this. Uh, I think the minimum you could put in is $5. And then you could set it up to auto recharge if you want, or uh, you know just turn that off so you, you can keep control of it. If you don't already have uh, an account or a credit on here, then right here, uh, the credit remaining would say zero. And then there'd be a green button right here that says something like add payment details. So you could just create, uh, you know, $5 credit in there to be used for things like integrating with the Google Sheets like we're going to do here. So once you set up an account and you put in a small balance, uh, you're ready to use it. And what you need to do is you need to jump over here within OpenAI and click on the API keys. I already have a few that I'm using, but I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to cl click this create new secret key and we'll just give it a name and we'll call it open AI script. And then I'm going to create secure key. And there it is. And of course, I'm going to delete this after I'm done using it, but I'm just using this for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to copy this key and I'm just going to paste it someplace so we can reference that later. And that's all we have to do within open AI. Now I'm going to jump over to Google Sheets. We're just going to give this a name. OpenAI test. So now within Google Sheets, I'm going to go up to extensions and then there's something called app script. I'm going to select that. And it's going to open up this little app script window. I'm going to clear that and I'm going to merely paste in this formula that you're going to need. And I'll also paste this on the website uh, and link to it within this YouTube video. So you guys can just grab the code. But I'll go through it here real fast. So I just pasted this in. So let's just go through what all this does. First up here at the top, the function, the function's named GPT, and it accepts a single argument named input. And then down here, the next couple lines, these are the API configuration. So the get API, that's just a constant that's going to hold the API key that we just created in OpenAI. Uh, the base URL, that's just the endpoint URL to call uh, the OpenAI. The headers configuration section, this just sets up the necessary headers for the API request. So it specifies that the content type is JSON and it provides the authorization uh, using the API key. So right here, it's just basically calling back up here to get the API key, like I said, that we just copied in. This section right here, uh, this is the options configuration. So this sets up the options for the API request. The headers is set to the headers that we just defined earlier, just above here. The method is set to post since the open AI request uh, expects a post request for completions. This mute HTTP exceptions that's set to true, which just means that if there's an HTTP error, the script won't immediately throw an exception. Instead, it will continue executing. And then the payload right here, it contains the data to be sent to the API. So it specifies the model to use. In this case, we're using the model GPT-4. If we wanted to, we could also use uh, GPT-3.5 Turbo, which is a different model we could use. But in this example, I'm just using GPT-4. And then it has uh, the system messages and the content, which I'll get into shortly. 
and the temperature. I set the temperature down here to zero, which basically means uh, it's more consistent. If you you can set this from zero to one, if you set it to one, you'll get more, you know, I would call them crazy responses, or you can set it to 0 0.5. But for Excel sheets, you, you know, you kind of want the correct answer and not a lot of silliness. So I guess just set it to zero, but you can play around with that. And then down here at the lower section, uh, it's the API request and response handling. So the script uses the URL fetch app fetch to make the API request. And then it parses the JSON responses into the JavaScript object. And then down, finally, just down below, it just uh, the script logs the content of the first choice from the API response to the Google app script logger. Uh, it then returns this content as the output of the function. So if you just copy this uh, and paste it into your own sheet, you'll see how this works exactly. So first to get this set up, I'm gonna paste in that API key that we created. Let me go grab that. I'm just gonna paste that right here. Okay, then up here, uh, first I'm gonna title this. I'm just gonna call it Open AI Test. Then I'll hit the save the project button here. And then I'm gonna hit run. It's not gonna work, but I'm just gonna hit it because it's gonna throw up all these uh, permission settings that we're gonna go through. So right here, it says, this project requires your permission to access your data. So I'm gonna review permissions and you only have to do this the first time you set this up. So review permissions. And it says, choose your account. So I have this MarTech Hero. And it says Google hasn't verified this app. So basically it's saying Google doesn't know what this app's doing. So do we trust it? So I'm going to click on advanced. And since we just wrote it ourselves, I think we could trust it. It says continue only if you understand the risk of this developer. And I'm going to say go to open AI test. It says unsafe, but we know what it's safe. And then finally, it's going to have this little pop up. And once again, we just hit allow. So there's a lot of things there that just basically allowed us to save it. And as I, I, as I stated, that the run thing didn't actually do anything down here because we had no input, but it got us through all the warning screens. So now that this is all set up, I'm gonna hop back over to our sheet and let's just run through some examples. So I'll just paste in some states here, Colorado, Wisconsin, Illinois, Ohio. So I'm gonna go to B1 and I'm going to type equals GPT, which is the name of the function we just created, and then open paren, and then a quote, what is the capital of, and I'm going to close the quote, and we want to say what's the capital of Colorado, so I'm going to say ampersand, because I want to reference cell A1, and I'm going to close paren, I'm going to hit enter. So now it's checking with chat, chat GPT, and it returned the capital of Colorado is Denver, which obviously is correct. And then you can copy this down and it'll run the same formula for all of them. In this case, it's referencing A2, A3, A4, and so on. So it says the capital of Colorado, Wisconsin, Madison, so on and so forth. So you can see how this works and it works great. So let's jump back over to our app script. And this time I'm gonna show you what this content does. Right now, the content is blank. We didn't give it any instructions. But let's say you want to do something like answer the questions as though you are a pirate, we'll say. And then we got to go up here and hit save. So it's going to save our new function with this content. And now, as you can see, it changed all of our responses because now it's referencing the content. So it says R matey, the capital of Colorado is Denver, so it be, and, and so on and so forth. So that's basically what that does. Um, but obviously for Google Sheets, normally you probably wouldn't want to answer things in pirate voices, but it just shows you what you can do with this. One other thing to point out, like I said, we are running this on the model GPT-4. If we wanted to, we could also run this on different models, such as GPT 3.5-Turbo. And you might say, why would you want to do that if 
T if GPT-4 is better, which it probably is, uh, it's the pricing slightly less expensive if you use like GPT-3.5. They're both relatively inexpensive, but something to keep in mind. And if you, here I'll just bounce over to, I'll bounce over to their pricing. And as you can see, if we're using GPT-4, here's the prices, you know, zero, six cents for this compared to 3.5 is 0 0.002 cents. And they have different models that you could look at. But that's basically why you might want to change this. If you're doing something like just finding the state like we did, you do not need GPT-4 to figure that out. GPT-3.5 is perfectly fine with that. But just something to keep in mind. So I hope this all made sense. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.